Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Jewelcrate50X And if you guys are enjoying the things that I'm posting on my channel Be sure to like button, comment, tell me what you guys think Tell me what you guys would like to see from me And if you would like to be notified whenever I post something Consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it To get a notification every time that I post any video on my channel So without further ado, let's get into the video So first things first, we have another Naruto We have a video coming from the Naruto battle series naruto versus series we're gonna be doing kid boruto versus kid naruto now i know a lot of people off rip are gonna be like well come on dude that's not even competition but we have to think about a few things here naruto may not have been the genius that boruto is but naruto did have a drive and a motivation unlike any other ninja that was alive at that point in time he was he was simply a wild card he was the number one knucklehead ninja of the time he was just that guy who always managed to cope go beyond all the odds set before him he fought against a genius like kiba he defeated him with a fart he fought against a genius like neji he hit him with a short yukin he fought against gara the one-tailed beast who had never felt pain and he whooped his ass he fought against Sasuke, the prodigy. Now, granted, Sasuke was out for book, and Naruto was out to bring his friend back. Had Naruto been out for book, I am one of those people who humbly and 150,000 percent believe that Naruto would have slaughtered Sasuke. But that's just me. So, those are pretty much the most iconic fights for naruto in the series oh i forgot to mention the haku fight haku versus naruto um well naruto shielded sasuke from death sasuke shielded naruto from death but naruto de de delivered the finishing blow to haku um in that fight not counting haku's actual death per se so with that being said those are all of naruto's pretty much iconic fights that everyone know about from when he was a kid now um did I miss any? I think I missed the, the Naruto versus Orochimaru fight as a child when, um, when it was in the forest of death. But I, I wouldn't consider that too much because Naruto pretty much just stopped the snake and called Sasuke a bitch. But that, that's that's for another day in time. We'll do a, a versus battle amongst the kid Naruto and Sasuke later on and why I feel Naruto would be the definitive winner in that fight. But um, back to the subject at hand. Boruto is considered a genius. I would even put him on the level of a Sasuke Uchiha without the Sharingan, which says a lot about Boruto's intelligence. Now, we have to think about these two things. Boruto come from two strong lineages of Shinobi. He has Hyuga blood for him in Uzumaki. Now, the Hyuga clan was known for their strong dojutsu powers in the past and their Byakugan. And the Byakugan was such a wanted dojutsu that people even the the um the hitting the village hitting in the clouds they took the risk of trying to abduct well trying to steal Hinata as a bait well, as a child and that's the reason why if I remember correctly Neji's dad died he saved her and something else happened I I don't remember all the details on that because my memory is really foggy. And I'm surprised I remember that much, but oh yeah, 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 that's the reason he died because he had to put his life up for killing the hidden cloud ninja that tried to um tried to abduct abduct lady lady um Hinata. So with that being said, the Hyuga clan is known for their dose juicy powers, and they was long sought off, sought after so much in fact that a ninja from the hidden mist, I don't know if he just beat some random like Hyuga fodder and stole a eyeball. But he he actually gained uh, gained uh, um, a very notable name for his use with the Byakugan. Granted, he's not of the Hyuga clan lineage, so he had to adopt his body and learn how to use this technique. And he keeps it hidden by behind a um, pretty much like a, a eye patch in, in a sense. His name was Ayo, Aoi Aoi. He was from um, he was one of the Mizukai games like God well, bodyguards or whatever. So, they, this kid has a strong lineage of chakra just flowing through his body. And we all know that Uzumaki was, was pretty much praised for their strong chakra nature. 
and how good they they're, they're ceiling technique. Now Boruto as of yet doesn't know much on in terms of ceiling techniques, but it has been shown that Boruto does know the gentle fist technique, even without the Byakugan. It has been shown that Boruto is very skilled in Taijutsu. It has been shown that Boruto is also well versed in ninjutsu from lightning style to wind style. And I believe he knows water and fire as well. Don't hold me to that. I don't know for sure 100%. Um, but Boruto, this kid is just really well versed. He's very well trained. He was actually trained by Kakashi, along, just like Naruto was as a child. But I believe since Kakashi kind of had a hand in teaching Boruto when Boruto was a lot younger, it was a lot easier to mold his, his abilities and make him a lot sharper as a shinobi growing up versus how it was with Naruto. When Kakashi got a hold of Naruto, Naruto was a 12-year-old knucklehead. Um, him training Boruto, Boruto was a lot younger. So, I mean, Boruto was... He was influenced by this. He was interested in it. Whereas Naruto was all like, yeah, you know what? I know this ninja too, and I can do this and this and with it. Can you do it? Nope. All right, cool. I'm that guy. And that's that's not the shit on Boruto. I mean, Naruto's character or anything. But it was a kind of a, a huge, I guess you can say, obstacle in, in terms of Boruto actually learn. I mean, Naruto learning and progressing in the series more so than not. Whereas Naruto could have probably been a genius of a shinobi, such as his father, his godfather, his teacher before him. Naruto literally was held as a god for literally two jutsu that he learned how to use. Which is fucking ridiculous in my opinion. Your main two jutsu are the ones you spam more than anything. Rasengan, um, Shadow Clone Jutsu. These are the most common things heard out of Naruto's freaking mouth. And it's absolutely annoying. Um, I would have loved for the main character to be a lot more diverse, which is why I love the route that they're taking with Boruto. Boruto is very well rounded thus far. And here is why I feel that um, Naruto could actually, Ken Naruto could actually defeat Boruto. Now, many, I, I know this is going to spark a lot of arguments and a lot of debate because I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, dude, you're stupid. But hear me out. Think about all the fights and oppositions that Naruto ever had to face and how he overcame them. It wasn't about his skill level. It was about his his drive, his faith, and his ninja way. The, Naruto preached that through us throughout part one of the series. I can't go back on my ninja, my ninja way. Naruto never gave up in a fight. He never backed down in a fight. I think I've only ever seen Naruto intimidated in a fight once, and that was against Mizuki, and I don't even think he was actually intimidated. He was more so worried for Iruka. And I, I don't I don't I don't think Naruto's ever been intimidated in a fight. Meanwhile, Boruto on the other hand, we haven't seen him be intimidated in a fight, but we know Boruto doesn't have the same ninja drive or shinobi drive that Naruto and um, the people of Naruto's time did. Boruto just wants to be a shinobi because, well, that's what all his friends are doing. And he wants to stick with all his friends, which is fine and dandy because all these kids are different. So we can't expect them to be the same. We don't want Naruto. To, I mean, we don't want Boruto to be a carbon copy of Naruto because then that'll just be a rehash and resign of the exact same story that we already got for the past 15, 20 years almost. And me, me, honestly, I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't like that. Um, so with that said, I'm going to get into their combat. And their skilled sets as of right now. Um, and I say as of right now because we don't know Boruto's in like full length or detail as to what he can and can't do as of now. So we're just, I'm, I'm going to get into what I know off the top of my head. Um, first things first. Naruto as a child, he had access to the one cloak for the nine tails. One tail cloak for the nine tails. Which boosts his power to I think... 10 times his normal strength almost that's if i remember correctly because i believe the the um the curse mark that sasuke had was supposed to do 10 times was supposed to boost his strength 10 times and so if we had to compare the two they would be about the same if i remember correctly but that could have easily been um retconned later on in the series especially due to all the other power-ups that naruto and sasuke received so as of right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna give the one tail cloak probably a two times boost, two times boost. So just so I'm not like 
overpowering Naruto or whatever. So you have Naruto with the one tails cloak. Um, you have you have Naruto having shadow clone jutsu, summoning jutsu, Rasengan. And at that time, that's that's literally it. That was all that Naruto knew. But it wasn't how Nar what Naruto knew. It was how he used what he knew. Um, as in the way he would use his shadow clones to act as a distraction as he burrowed on the ground. Or the way he would use his shadow clones to launch him forward and shoot himself off like a missile. Now, granted, we have actually seen Boruto do some of these exact same things. Which is why this fight is very difficult for me. But ultimately and honestly, it would come down to one, one deciding factor in this fight. And I'm going to get to that later on. So let me go over Boruto's skill set real quick. We've seen Boruto use um, in the anime. I'm only going over anime because I don't know how many people actually read the manga. So I don't want to spoil too much. In the anime, we've seen Boruto use Wind Style, Lightning, um, and Shadow Clones. And his maximum is three Shadow Clones. Whereas Naruto could do like, what, a thousand easily? at the very start of the series so yeah he kind of dwarfs boruto in terms of skill and chakra reserves and being able to use shadow clones so that that could play a huge role in this fight and we've seen the way that boruto is actually very creative with the way that he uses his um his ninjutsu he infused a lightning and he infused lightning style and wind style as a way to thrust itself forward and increase his speed exponentially in one of the more recent episodes. Um, I, I believe it was actually in his fight against Kakashi, and he blitzed Kakashi, and Kakashi was even kind of shocked. So that, that says a lot about Boruto right there. Now, due to this being before the Ginning exams or whatever, or the, no, before the tuning exams, because he just got his head then, Boruto actually doesn't have access to the Rasengan. So that plays a huge role. Now, again, Boruto, I'm gonna get a little creative with this. Boruto being the creative ninja that he is, Naruto being the, the resilient creative ninja that he is, I can almost see Boruto finding a counter to um, Naruto's Rasengan in the form of maybe a wind style, lightning style, like typhoon in the palm of his hands, in a sense. And maybe that's just me reaching a lot. I don't want to go too far in that, but I could actually see that being to cancel out, being able to cancel out Naruto's Rasengan at that time. So, with that being said, as the fight would draw on, and I mean Naruto being able to outdo Boruto in terms of sheer numbers with the Shadow Clone Jutsu, which could play a huge role. Might must I add? I have to add this because it's very important. But Boruto having a wider plethora of skills that he can use at his disposal in the terms of wind release ninjutsu and lightning release ninjutsu he could easily crush through those clones and boruto being skilled with the gentle fish technique so due to him not having byakugan he may not be able to see vital chakra points but if he was to target them and he know where they are on the human body he could actually still do damage and shut them off so that is very important that is very important now if boruto was to do this to naruto he would in essence, do exactly what Neji did, leaving Naruto no choice but to kind of leak into the um, the, the Nine Tails chakra and go probably in that One Tail state. Not as much as he did against Neji, but more so with like uh, against probably um, uh, I'm gonna say probably in the fight against Sasuke, some along that level. He'll be aware of what he's doing, but he won't be so out of control and mindless that he would kill his opponent. And I, I, I honestly feel like that in Naruto's sheer number of Shadow Clones would be the deciding factor in Naruto actually beating Boruto in this fight. Um, that That's just my opinion. I would love to hear you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, tell me what you guys think. And as always, it was your boy Joker85OX, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.